we're going to do a shout out today mm -hmm. and her name is Zanele. So today we are going to do a shout out, a very huge shout out in Jay. Where my mom's friend. Mm -hmm. um, her channel is called Z is living well with um, kidney disease. So what does she talk about on her channel? Yeah, she talks about kidneys and she um she has like a bad kidney and stuff. Like when she was a kid, she had like a bad kidney and then she did some stuff and stuff. And then when she kept on getting older and stuff, she still had the bad kidney. What are you going to tell the people to do on her channel? Make sure to like, mm -hmm. make sure to subscribe, yes. make sure to make sure it's gray not red mm -hmm. and make sure to to go to bells and make sure to put the top bell everybody please go to zanella's channel she is a south african she lives in uh, joburg south africa uh please she's carrying heavy heavy um uh, great information please make sure you go to her channel make sure you subscribe share and like her videos and please my my loyal people here please i beg of you go to her channel and subscribe to her channel you know how kidney disease is becoming a problem in the world you want to learn one two one or two things on her channel so please you go to her channel subscribe like and share and please let her know that i sent you there welcome to my channel my name is Nadi Soshualo. um today's video we will be baking it's been a while we baked i'm doing this video because most of my viewers have been asking me to try to make this i have never made this but i want to try to make it so today we are making yellow buns you remember how when we were young mostly some of us who are from malawi i don't know about other people but when we were young we used to have these yellow buns and these were the yellow buns we used to take to school or have tea with and i have made a video before of buns you check it up here i will use the same ingredients the only difference is that i am going to put um yellow food color in the buns to make the yellow buns and also instead of brushing it off with an egg wash i am going to brush it off with honey so this is what we will do today watch the video till the end let's learn one or two things But before we do that, please remember what we do always. We ask you to subscribe, kindly asking you to subscribe to the channel, like the videos, share uh, with your friends and, and family and all that. Okay, so without further ado, let's start the baking. I'm not going to go into details about the, the ingredients because like I say, I did this one before. So I'm just going to start mixing up stuff and, and all that. So let's make the yellow bun. We will start with our uh, uh, warm water, which is 140 ml, and then we will put our yeast. Uh, usually, one one sachet of yeast is the same as is the same as um, one tablespoon. I'm gonna put two. I will add my sugar, and I'm gonna put about eight tablespoons. I will add a pinch of salt, usually I just need almost a, a teaspoon of salt because I'm adding um, butter which is, the butter which is already also salted so I'm not going to put too much of that, of the salt. I will add milk, powdered milk, so I'm going to put 6 tablespoons. And I'll mix it all up together. See? I'll add in my eggs. Mm. And that's the mixture. So 
so that's how it looks and now this allows me to add this recipe i'm gonna add um four cups of flour so this flour is pre-sifted it is pre-sifted flour and it is all purpose flour oh, oh my god sorry before i forgot i completely forgot oh my god can you imagine I completely forgot that we are doing yellow buns oh my god so I've got this food color that I need to add in the liquid before adding the flour so because I have already added a little bit of flour that's okay I'm just gonna sort of like put it on the side like this I completely forgot can you imagine so I'm gonna add in the uh, food color until I'm satisfied with the yellow the yellowness of it I was meant to add that and sort of like stir it up but you know what in kitchen mistakes do happen but we do get over them so as you can see I've added that color and it's getting to yellow just don't do this mistake when you're making them okay give it time All right, so the yellowness has been added, the color, and so I'm gonna go ahead and add two more because I think we are doing, we are actually doing four cups. So I think I added, I think I'm remaining with one. At this point, if you see, it's a bit thick, a little bit thick. You can go ahead and add a little bit of liquid just in case of which I don't necessarily need it too soft because it's burnt, right? That's my dough and I'll make sure my hands are dusted with flour but before I start all this kneading business I will need to add a uh, butter at this moment you will you will realize that when when you when you start putting all this butter in there it really doesn't feel nice it feels weird but don't worry about it because it will come along when you start kneading it will get incorporated into the door and everything is gonna turn out just fine what you're going to do next is need for the next 15 minutes so at this point i've been um kneading the door for about 15 minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and put it back in here but before i do that i need to butter up this dish so that when i put it in there when i'm taking it out it's not sticking okay so this is the door i'll let it uh, rest for an hour and double inside so i'm just gonna put it in there So um, it's been 45 minutes, I am back to my dough, I just want to mold the buns and then put them in this dish I've prepared already, I have buttered it already, in case the buns are more, I'll put others in this dish, I've also buttered it already, and that's how it looks, it's all doubled in size, as you can see, I will punch it and have all that air come off so I am going to start molding my buns like this In the end, these are our buns. 
I'm gonna let them uh, sit here and rise again for another 45. It's quite a process. We are back. Um, our bread is ready, as you can see. I'm not gonna um, do an egg wash. I'm gonna go put them in the oven and let them go in there halfway through. And then I'm gonna quickly take them out, brush off the honey, and then put them back. Just because sugar burns fast. So I don't want them to burn completely, like to be black on top and then okay on the other side. But I'm gonna put them in the oven right now. I already preheated my oven. I'm just gonna put them in there. I'll put them in there for about maybe less than uh, less than 10 minutes. I'll take quickly take them out, brush off the honey, and then put them back again. Okay? I'll see you soon. Hopefully, I've just taken out the buns from the oven. So this is the honey. And I'm just gonna brush it through the bread very, very quickly. And then I'll see you again when it is completely baked. Hey, you all, there goes our bread. There goes our yellow buns. They are quite hot, so I'm not gonna touch them right now. This is the other one. It was getting almost overcooked. I realized they're a little bit late, but still, there goes our yellow buns. This just reminds me when I was young, growing up, having those sugary buns, yellow sugary buns. They were really, really amazing, and I think I've done a good job trying to create that today. These buns are expensive. First of all, let me say they are so soft. Ooh, still kind of hot. Look at that. Look at how perfect they look. This is the bread we have created, the yellow buns. It is beautiful. Wow, look at that. Wow. Look at how fluffy. And you know, I always tell you that for you to know that this is good bread, you must push bread down. They're able to rise up. That is when you know this is good bread. Beautifully done. That sugar it, uh, crust out there, it is gorgeous exactly the way i used to know them beautiful so let me know what you thought about this recipe what you thought about the yellow buns if you have had them in your country before let me know in malawi i don't think they make them anymore but i don't know why they stop but these these are beautiful all right i'll see you in the next video have a great one bye bye guys